Yesterday was an awesome day for science. Astronomers released the first ever photo of a black hole. To this day, we had never seen a photo of a black hole. Everything we knew about it was from descriptions and illustrations, and now we can actually see one. It's blurry, but awesome. So let's answer a few questions about this image. First of all, what is a black hole? Black holes are objects that exist all around the universe and they're very, very dense with an extreme gravitational pull and they gobble up anything that comes near it. Not even light can escape its grasp. Most galaxies are thought to have supermassive black holes at the center of them, including our own. So why haven't we seen an image of a black hole before? Black holes, even supermassive ones, aren't even that big. And also, they can be shrouded by materials that obscure the light around them. So we haven't been able to take a photo of it until you know, recently. But before this image, how did we even know black holes existed? Well, Einstein first predicted that they existed with his theory of relativity. But then astronomers began to rely on indirect evidence. So they couldn't actually see the black hole, but they would measure the behavior or signals coming from objects surrounding it. As a black hole pulls objects closer and closer to it, it heats those objects up and that causes radiation to be emitted, which we can detect here with our instruments. How in the world did they do this? Over 200 astronomers collaborated and took measurements using eight ground-based telescopes, which were found you know, in high altitude areas such as mountains and volcanoes. And they synchronized all of these telescopes such that it made it like one giant telescope the size of our planet. And by doing this, they took measurements of the radio waves that were emitted by this event horizon in a galaxy that's 55 million light years away. They then took all these raw measurements, analyzed them, and combined them into the image that you see. Synchronizing the telescopes was akin to creating an Earth-sized telescope with a resolution so good that you would be able to read a newspaper in New York from a cafe in Paris, the researchers said. So what are we actually seeing in this photo? So we're not actually seeing the black hole. You can't really see a black hole since not even light can escape it. What we're seeing is its shadow that's revealed by its event horizon that surrounds it, and that's the ring that you see. And basically, uh, that is a bunch of gases that are superheated because of the gravitational pull of the black hole. The colors are actually colors that the researchers assigned to it, so it's not really that color. And they think that um, in the visible spectrum, it would actually be more more of a whitish color with like tints of blue or red. Does this image yet again prove Einstein's theory of relativity? Well, his equations predicted that black holes should exist and that they should have an event horizon and that they should also be somewhat circular. Why not both? Why did they image a black hole that's 55 million light years away and not the one that's nearest to us in our galaxy? The short answer is that they took those measurements first, so they analyzed it first. But M87 is also an easier one to image in comparison to Sagittarius A star, which is the one in our galaxy, because it's so far away that it doesn't move much during the course of an evening of taking measurements. But the researchers did say that they're analyzing the one in our galaxy, and that they hope that they'll have a picture for that as well. That's it from us here at Live Science. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you.